Okay, we took the timing chain and we got to all the things, uh, all the guides and the chain off. Uh, one suggestion we did a little backwards. Before you take any of the uh, timing chain or uh, take the timing chain or the guides off, break this bolt loose first. Uh, that way you can hold it a little better and you can get the bolt off and then take uh, the, um, the guides and the tensioner off. Now once that comes off and you still make sure you don't get it, knock it out of time. Don't let the motor turn any at all. Uh, and then you can pull this out. If you can see this gear, it don't show very well, but all the teeth on it are turned over on the edges. There, it's, it's definitely wore out. Uh, what what was causing problem was with this motor is it had a rattle in the front of the motor where you could hear the chain rattling. If you look at here at the guides, you can see there's wear marks in the guide. Uh, hopefully this will take care of that rattle. At certain at certain RPMs, you could just hit this had a rattle in the front of it. So we'll uh, see about putting it back together. Here. Okay, we got the chain up on here. If you notice on this chain, if you can see it. There's colored, the side of the chain has a different colored link here and here, and them line up, okay? And you got to make sure they're lined up, and then down on the side of the crank, there's also a mark down there, right on the side of the pulley. There, you can see the center pin is straight up, was dead center, but on the side, uh, at about, uh, let me see, what would that be? That would be at about nine o'clock. There's a mark, and then there'll be a colored link that that lines up for. Now, what we did, we put the front guide on first, made sure we kept everything in. We bolted it down. Now, the back guide's in on a pivot arm there. It just slides on a pin right here, and we're gonna now we're gonna put the new tensioner in. Now that tensioner bolts on the back side. That'll make you sick. Uh, if you can see down in there, uh, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? Uh, he's uh, holding it. That's where it goes back up. He's going to put it right up in there and then put the two bolts in it. Okay, we took a good luck with you there, driver. Cleaned this all up where the water pump is. We've uh, put a new oil seal in here. We tapped it out, put a new one in. Got this all cleaned up around, make sure there's none of silicone left from the where it was on, cleaned all the way around, make sure all this grease is cleaned out. Now what we're going to do is put new silicone, a real light coat, all over it before we put it back on. Okay, we put a real light coat of silicone all the way around the outside of this before we put it back on, let it tack up just a little bit and uh, see what happens. Now we got all of our timing chain in, got it all marked. You just reverse the procedure as far as putting uh, the covers and everything back on. Put your front cover on, your valve cover, and uh, start putting your belts back on the same way they come off. And uh, we're getting closer to getting ready. We got to get a water pump yet. This one had uh, a lot of miles on it. We figured we ought to. Ought to change that why we, we're in that far, so get the water pump on and uh, we'll be ready to fire it up. Okay, Randy, I think we got her all. We're going to see if she'll run now. There you go. Now, when she warms up a little bit, you always got a little bit of greasy finger marks on everything, so. You, Probably get a little smoking off of some of the grease and oil that got, you know, dripped out of the motor and different things. So, but uh, burn like a kitten. That's all we care about. Have to check her all out.